What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, we successfully rode to the aid of the army under siege in Kutak and drove away the Mughal forces, and then we also defended from a sally from Hyderabad. I think I'm probably going to... My original plan was to wait for this army to move in, but I think... I don't know. When I capture it, that might be what triggers the AI to move forces in. So I'm, it might, I'm going to actually just wait. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to build some build some cheap brigs in this port just to send around and to start interfering with shenanigans off the coast of my enemies. Are you doing any, having any good luck converting? You are. Let's go to the engineer school. Good, so you've got a bit of a guard, you've got a bit of a guard, and you've got a good guard. Maybe you might want to get one howitzer unit. Because Gen the Genoese are on the move. And if I have to declare on them, then they're quite quite the uh, quite the power. So they own all these regions in North Africa. They own Corsica. They own Athens, Istanbul, Anatolia, and also Bulgaria now. So hopefully they'll find they'll have bitten off more than they can chew. See, I wanted them to be at war with Russia. I want them to spur that. God, and I forgot all about what's going on up here. So many theatres of war. You re-secure Crimea from the Russians. Good. Build, build. Replenish, replenish, replenish. Cool. The Moscow garrison was under siege previously, but please replenish. You also need to replenish and recruit some infantry to get back to the city. So you're going to units of artillery, yes, that'll be enough. Oh yes, and you were continuing your drive down to Astrakhan. Because we're now clearing out these Russian rear areas. Oh yes, and I forgot you were on the move. Two units of heavy oils artillery, two elite units of infantry. But we have walls and we will get some sort of garrison. So I think I like my chances. Um, so many things going on. <laughs> right, I think I am going to end turn. Got rockets coming in next, now I'll free them up. Probably to go on, well not to the next one of these, probably to go on to Percussion Cap. Because that will get me some Rifleman Scouts and some French Voltageurs, which would be pretty neat. Aha! That army up, moved up to that Norwegian port. Is ready to move. Could have moved in this turn, but you know, never learn. Maybe I might send them down to take a Russian coastal town. Maybe, because I do need to put the squeeze on them. Maybe I'll sell them around to land and try to invade Petrovskaya. Trade agreement? They're demanding? No. Eh. Yes. I was hmm, thinking there might be a good hedge against the Genoese. So while I don't want to fight the Genoese, I may as well try and keep on the friendly side with the, the Ottomans, especially knowing that they can't they can't beat me because I'm too entrenched. Um, but the Genoese could cause some problems in the rear, so I'd like to I'd like the Ottomans to provide a bit of a bit of a matchable threat to the to the Genoese. Don't want them to have it too easy, do we? Some raiding is, is always it was inevitable. I can't secure all of my regions at the same time. I can't secure all my routes into Moscow at the same time anyway. But as long as I've got a school, I can slowly start converting. And as long as I don't have a university. See, if they occupied the university or just sat near it so that I couldn't stop it. Oh, they have just, they have just attacked it and not, not sieged. Interesting. 
fundamentally not massively relevant. Oh, hello. Sorry, Sweden. I'm going to absolutely assault your uh, last region now. I'm absolutely going to hit Finland. Because you tried. You tried to... Not, you, you've tried to... Oh. Yes, I will defend against that. Thank you very much. Dire need of replenishment. Because <laughs> that happens in the Indian regions. They storm stack after stack after stack after stack. And they're not necessarily good stacks, but they chip away at you enough so that you can't stop them all. Eventually, you have to pull back. Oh, should be okay. Particularly because I've got. Ooh, it's nice that we've got actually this little furrow. Question is, is where the supporting arms will come from. My army, my unit's getting a bit weak. That's good. We've got barricades. Let's do something like this. So let's do you, 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 you. Now if you just pick you, you, you. Come on, you. Control, you, you. Or maybe not you. I knew I grabbed hold of someone that was. Stuff like this in front of my guns with these fragments to at least complicate their problem of trying to attack me. Yeah, the camel nomads will get picked apart by my guys. Enforcements are coming in. This is the the garrison. Get okay, this round shot. You know, army to actually keep hitting their artillery. These guys could probably. Well, you may as well do the same. Actually, you on the other hand. Good, even a miss starts to do some damage. That was a lovely hit on the cavalry. Here come the horsemen, camel gunners. It's seems fortunate we're all behind bunkers, barricades. Let's hit the bowmen. Keep 
keep the fire going while they're vulnerable. Good, keep them falling back. This is even with morale bonuses. See, it just shows you how much that that ripple effect can, can just get away from you before you know it. Come on then, reload. I hear charging noises. So they do come back, but that just leaves them more exposed to my musketry for a longer possible longer period of time. So keen they got up on the wall. This is ultimately the exact reaction we want. So the lances are coming in. Not really bothered about who you're after. Look at that. Lovely, lovely routing. You never get a chance to set out their lines. That's exactly what I want. Complicating matters. Is that a oh, They're getting shot to pieces now. Good, they get the lances so I can set these guys up like this to help pick apart the lances. And that's an army in full retreat. Lovely stuff. Let's just get them, hitting them. Let's get these guys on. Probably round shot duty to be fair. Start hitting there. My French musketry is just too damn good. That can probably stand to do something like this. There you go, it's time to enter the fray. Or bow unit, you're gonna get you're gonna get shattered in a second. Yeah, there you go. Some Zimmons and more, more horsemen. Let's reorganize your lines, let's pull you guys up to here. Probably not going to form square because they're probably not going to charge. Nope, they want to get involved in some shooty action. There we go. It's not bad cavalry, it's just. No skirmish cavalry does super well in, in the front line against proper, proper people. Let's take my general now, because this cavalry is going to be the last of the cavalry on the field that's destroyed. Let's do you, you, this, and then let's get them into the mix against some of these Indian targets. Probably deployed him a bit earlier, but I'm always a bit, a bit wary. So this guy, the 26, accuracy 52 compared to I don't have a regular unit. Got you, the 26th regiment. I have to, I have to merge you with someone to make sure you don't lose your abilities. Let's get all my guns on round shot, pegging, trying to go for that unit of camel nomads. Because they are precisely who I don't want interfering with my general. Yeah, 
There's some guys running around, but they're not cavalry. Oh damn, so I kill a bunch of my own, probably. Artillery unit. We only have one guy to reload. Down there, handful of guys. I could assault the gunners, but I want to shoot them. There we go. The reinforcements are chasing my general. Probably the smart idea, but you know, I'm not gonna let you get in a position to catch him. That's so what I might do, is because everything's gonna become about my general, apart from hitting those camels, I might just speed it up and do some casualty hunting with my general. So I'm gonna give this massive block. Look at that. Don't go after the bowmen, go after the infantry units. At least as much as possible, anyway. Okay, so let's go to these guys. This flank. Move them up to present them a, a threat. So they're not nearly so tempted by my general. Then let's speed it up again. Who are you? Infantry mercenaries. No, I'd rather go for them. This proper unit of infantry than musketeers, than uh, mercenaries, personally. Okay, now I'll go for the mercenaries. Or do I go for. No, they're all going to make it. Oh, I don't know. For them. Speed up time again. And let's watch some musketry pour into these guys. Let's go back to the general, I suppose, because it's effectively like cleaning up. Um, remnants before the end of the actual battle. Okay, let's send him back after these guys then, because they're going to run, they're going to run. Absolutely continue. You chase after them, you them and then let's turn off my artillery fire and then let's triple speed it and watch my general so the bowmen or the musketeers the musketeers absolutely because this is the garrison as well I might even chase them down depending on how fast our guys are there we go lovely stuff I want that flag, I want that standard. Nah, probably not going to catch up between them, but you know what? I'm still quite happy with how this has gone. Chomp, chomp. 
Your sacrifice has saved your bowmen, though. I can say that much. Yeah, they've gone. And these guys will. We're out soon. Oh, they were getting so close. They were very. <laughs> Shoot some of your own guys in the back, why not? Decisive victory, though. For the city, because the garrison won't be up to much. Depends on how many they've lost. Oh, look at that. Nearly 10 to 1. Delicious. Well, they're going to go gar 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 garrison at Satara. They've tried to cut me off from my advance with my other army. Which makes sense, but it does nothing more than hasten their own doom. Did you know, it seems you're doing quite a good job in consolidating its... There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your okay, population firstly, grow. let's go over here. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. And then let's take you a and do that. Allows the oh, shit, it's giving you... Okay, it's giving them quite good odds, presumably because this army's up here interfering with the Calx. Yes, you absolutely need even more punishment than you did before. Yeah. Let's just hold on to it for now. Replenish. Keep replenishing. So how's your recruitment doing? You're almost done, so... Five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Then this army will be done. I'll send it up, start threatening Akbarabad. Any raid in Bryansk. Any raid in somewhere else in Russia. I've reset rockets. What have you gone on to do next? Percussion cap automatically. Perfect. Great, the commercial port. Let's take this navy. This brig of war. Grab my shop in Normandy. So this army, where do I want to deploy you? Maybe somewhere like here. Maybe. Oh, I wouldn't be able to get this port. We wouldn't be able to get past this port. So we need to take this city first. Okay, first let's carry on with building. So I don't get too carried away. Good, give you people jobs and employment and lovely stuff. Got an army here. Don't quite need it. Let's just wait for you there. Let's keep building out my navy there. No, that's going to be torn down, so I'm not going to waste the money. New port. New this. New port. Engineer school in Moscow. Which I don't need. Cool. Maybe I might send these guys up to threaten St. Petersburg and Petrovskaya. Ultimately, it'd be nice to defeat those guys. Oh, we get a mortar too. And a provincial line infantry unit. That'd be great if you attacked us. Three turns. Okay. Firstly. Because this is the army I want to do it. So I want this guy to be here. What I wanted. What I wanted was to move these guys in just to the edge and these guys to move in to attack. But I'll still take an attack on this. That's all depleted. These guys are all depleted. You're all just pre-depleted. So this battle, if anything, might clear Finland and knocking, knocking Sweden out of the game. Then I'll move that army from St. Petersburg. No, from down into land. Maybe not St. Petersburg, maybe Latvia. Something like that. Then at some point I'll try and sue the Rus sue the, uh, the Russians for peace. Maybe, maybe I might take Petrovskaya so I can some sort of a front. Okay, so why don't we put houses in the centre to bombard into the town. So the house is on the right.
To be honest, I might just focus my effort over on this flank. But I'll probably still want some grenadiers and a sizable chunk of infantry here. To send into the town. Have a force with skirmishes to send to the right. Keep two use of cavalry on the extreme edge of my territory. Fire will off. The one in the centre, just for support. Fire will off. Okay, so the replenishment the reinforcements coming in from the extreme flanks, in which case then I'll probably want to do something like this. I want you to shoot the general's bodyguard. Let's get these guys dropping for clap shots. Okay, Regiment of Dragoons already moving in. Form two squares. Okay, then charge into combat with them. Generally, you have to go hit their bodyguard. This is the Marines, foot line infantry. And you go snipe the general. defensive Artillery and get it ready to move. So, we're going to you guys back in this sort of direction because you're not just not needed. Continue these guys wrapping around and I'll eventually move through the town. Cavalry's not massively needed. I mean, I know I can chase down. Yeah. So who's over here? Oh, they left their artillery exposed. Oh, damn, there comes some light infantry. Do round shot. Ooh, and they're coming from behind. Okay, so I want you guys to win this fight. Pretty ricky tick. Send 
much, so I don't think I'm going to leave you guys here at all. Let's get you the Vegas to occupy the house. Here would be better. It's a bit out of the way, but that's why I have cavalry to help support. Good, starting with a quick line. To like this. Everyone's going to be knackered. Something like that. Just pull fire onto them. Good, so you start to come around here. One minute chasing down the Swedes. You can actually start to move up. Smash into that unit of mercenaries now because they've taken their time. Just a unit of pikes. Pull you out here so you can just engage. You're very, very tired, I know. They hate me ever so much. These guys are on their own. just yet. Let's bring my cavalry around the woods. They probably would have ended up running up to this house, but I didn't want to take the chance. Turn on fire, well, we'll just. Okay, they have successfully routed, okay. General's all the way out of it. Entire unit of something? Entire unit of guns, maybe? Sure, I had. 
more use than this. Oh, did they, they destroy the house my Jaegers were in? I see. Let's commit to the melee, let's get my general in. What the heavy cavalry loves. So I'm gonna finish this guy, this unit off first, this unit of three. Two, one, good, go after them. Swedish, terrible, terrible people. Oh, they have been caught. General, you go after that unit. Absolutely, I want to continue. This helps me open the way to... Okay, you're done. Let me run after them. My general's up after him. After them. There's three of them. Got him. So the last one's alive. Okay, so let's... Get my infantry out of it. This cavalry troop should absolutely love to meet them. Boom. And then the last unit alive is over here. Let's bring my other cavalry over here, just in case they take an exceedingly long time. It is usually quite a good merit in running away from them. Well, not running away from them, but you know, you're running off from them and then re-engaging. Boom. Exceptional shots there. Pretty I lost my Yagi. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Massive, massive damage done to them. Then this army loops around. For the final kill. Although to be honest, it's not really much of a fight, is it? Let us ceremoniously auto-resolve. Chop. We have executed Tideman Brig, the Swedish operative who is active in our region. And we have Oh no, we haven't. Oh no, they've still got one region in here. Okay. So, how do we react with this without panicking? <gasps> no, you could. Okay, 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 hold on. I have a plan. So, if I use this navy over here, my brand new navy, I can bottle them up. I can. Actually, how strong is that navy? Not very strong. I can engage them. I think I will. Instead. But, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time for the destru destruction of the Swedish, the last Swedish main army in the game. Right, guys. Thanks for watching.